time you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe before you leave um, today I'll be addressing the questions I'll be answering some questions that you asked me about um, coming to Northern Cyprus for school or for anything so I filmed the video last year about um, I think I don't I can't remember the title right now but I know the video about coming to Cyprus and stuff like that I want to my friends so a lot of people had questions, they were asking me on my Gmail, the comment section and everything. So I'll be answering them. The first question is, how do you get to North Cyprus? I'm like, how do you get to... I don't understand the question. I don't understand the, how did you get to North Cyprus? But I got to North Cyprus by a plane. I came with Turkish <laughs> airline. I don't understand. But I don't know the, how do you get to North Cyprus? Maybe the person asking, like, what, what are the processes for getting to, to get to North Cyprus or something? So it depends on what you want to do, but most of the pe most people come here for um for school. So if you're coming to Cyprus through school, you need to get like you need to know the school you're going to. First, you have to you have to know the course you want to study and check the school you're going to. Then you apply to the school. Then they will give you an acceptance letter and you pay your tuition. Then you go to the embassy. Then you come here. I said it in the other video, I think. The second question is, um, is it possible for one to sponsor himself throughout his study in Cyprus? I'll not say it's very um, it's impossible, but it's very difficult to sponsor yourself through school in North Cyprus because they don't have, like, job, job that can sponsor you. And the, the annoying part of the thing is that you pay your tuition in dollars and everything, but if you work for these people here, they pay you in Turkish lira. Um, so to convert your money back, sometimes it's not like it's not make sense when you convert everything. So I I used to advise people if you're coming to Cyprus to school, make sure you have someone that will sponsor you. If you want to work and say you want to make money, maybe the money should be for like your feeding and everything. But to sponsor yourself. To pay your school fees, it's not possible. It's not like not possible, but it's very difficult. Um, is it easy to leave Cyprus to any country of your choice after spending a year? Yeah, people do. A lot of people came to Cyprus, and I don't know for some reason they left. I think it's easy. It's quite easy. I'm, I did not leave, so um, I think it's easy. So I know one of my friends went to Germany. Some people went to. Uh, the UK, some people went to the US and everything else. It's quite easy to um, to leave Cyprus if you want to leave after one year. Um, it's just for you to get the visa. But the thing is that I, they, they do have like um, a lot of embassies here. They don't have a lot of embassies here. So uh, you can go to Turkey. Turkey. You can go to Turkey to get the visa so but it's, it's very easy someone said that which country is very close to cyprus that you can move there um turkey is the closest to cyprus so you can leave cyprus and go to turkey if you want to so uh, turkey is the closest to cyprus so you can go to turkey mm, how much do you need to come to cyprus i, I don't know but it's not it's not expensive um, you should, I don't know what your definition of expensive is, but I cannot give you a particular amount that okay, this is the amount in dollars or this is the amount in naira or something like that. But check your if you want to go to the school, just check your school, check how much they pay per year. I know some schools allow you to pay per semester, so check how much they pay per year, check um, your accommodation, check. Um, again. check accommodation. Check the cost of the cost of living is 
Would I say it's high? It's not high. If you're getting your money in dollars or you're getting your money in Naira, converting here is not really high. Things are they are expensive, but it's reasonable at to an extent. So I don't know how much I can say. Just check your the calculator should be your school fees and um, your accommodation, then your feeding. Or maybe you're talking about with the document from Nigeria and everything, or where you're coming from, I don't know. But basically, that's it, you know. And coming to schools in Cyprus, schools in Cyprus are quite okay. And, but the admission is very easy. If you need somebody for admission, just message me and I will link you up with anybody. Uh, I will link you up with people that can help you. Most of the people are just asking me if you can sponsor yourself, if you can sponsor yourself, if you can sponsor yourself in, in North Cyprus, living in North Cyprus and everything. Me, to me, uh, a lot of people come here hoping to go to, to get like good job, like working class job and everything. Uh, it, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to to get like white collar job and everything like that. The only job that is similar to white collar job in Cyprus is working as, a, as an assistant in school. You can either work in the international uh, office, you can work in strength office, you can work in just basically work in school. You can work in school. You can work in hotels and everything like that. But that that's just the work that's available in Cyprus actually. Just to work in, you work in school or you work in like hotels or restaurants or something like that. That's the only job you can get in this Cyprus. I should not like to give people. So if you are saying you want to sponsor yourself, just imagine you working in school. Or and or you work in a restaurant and uh the money to your school fees. Just just use your use your head to calculate everything. I do I'm not trying to discourage anybody they've come to Cyprus or something. Some people come to Cyprus and they make it well. It depends on you. Um I, and, and that question that people asked me was combining school and work. Can you combine school and work? Basically, uh, and a lot of people that I know they work and they go to school. School, it depends in, on the job you get. But they don't have issues with you working and you going to school. You can do both of them if you have the strength to. So, um, you can... Like now, if you're... If you're some, some, some jobs are very considerate. They use your timetable. Most jobs, they don't use your timetable, but they, you know, they have like shift and everything. So... You can work with your timetable or you can work after school. They don't have issues that you can do your job and you can go to school. I know a lot of people that do that a lot. And um, the only time you can get like stable job and make money is summer or holidays. Like the money is more than when you're working and going to school. So you can get jobs during summer and... I don't know if you work like three months, you're able to gather money for like semester or something. So somebody asked that how much is admission. Most of the school, like my school, you don't pay admission um fee. Yeah, you don't pay admission fee. So anybody that's asking you to pay admission fee is trying to cheat you. So I attend EMU, Eastern Mediterranean University. Um they don't pay for admission. The only thing that you need to come here is your admission letter. Um, you apply to the school, then they'll give you admission letter, then confirm it. you pay your school fees, they'll give you confirmation letter. Then that's all. Then all your passport and everything, you can stop it in Nigeria. The question that I got was how friendly is the environment and the people? Uh, actually, Cyprus is actually a... Uh, the environment is very friendly. I can say that myself. No fights, nothing, nothing. Very friendly, friendly people. The pe <laughs> some people, some, you know, you cannot just. They are different people. People are very different. Trigger. So, but most of the time they are friendly. They want to get to know you. They want to know what you believe. They want to learn your language. They are actually very friendly. The environment is very peaceful. It's very calm for learning. Um, yeah, yeah. Friendly environment, friendly people, yes. And that question is, uh, what is the salary structure like? 
<laughs> um basically i don't know i, I don't know if this is thinking is it like a job job here but it depends if you're working in them um, i don't know but the salary is in turkish lira according to what i said so, um but it varies on different job like if you're working in the restaurants it's different if you're working in the hotel if you're working in school is different if you're working in um like a shop or something like that so the the prices are different the salary structure is not fixed do you get but they pay in turkish lira and another question is um turkey or cyprus which one is better uh, <laughs> um it depends but turkey is actually quite better than it's better than cyprus obvious not quite obviously turkey is better than cyprus but based on population, based on um, like movement and everything, I think Cyprus is more calm compared to Turkey. Turkey is loud. It's like it's a big city. You get it's bigger. It's way way bigger than Cyprus. Um, uh, which school is better in Cyprus? There are different schools. I cannot say one is better than one. Um, we have. It depends on what you want to study. It depends. You can just you can check the school and check for. Um, the accreditations and everything. I can film another video about that, about the schools in Cyprus and um, which one is best for you. But as of now, it depends on you. Yeah, there's EMU, there's Eastern Medieval University, that's my school. There's CIU, there's Guinea uh, American University, there is um, Near East University, different schools. I think they are like almost 20. And um, so, so it depends on you, depends on your pocket, it depends on what you want to study. Um, if okay, somebody's asking that are there lots of international students and do I know any Somalia in the school? There are international students more than you can ever imagine. Like when I was coming here, I was thinking, Oh, Cyprus, nobody knows Cyprus and everything like that. So I was thinking, We're going to be very few. But when I came here, man, I was just seeing different people. Me, I was coming, I was like, Oh, maybe all the black people are Nigerians. <laughs> it's a lie. I was seeing different people, I was seeing people from Cameroon, people from Egypt, people from um, uh, different people, people from Zimbabwe, people from Russia, people from Iran, Iraq. This school is diversified. <laughs> So, um, different people, different culture, different um, race are uh, here in Northern Cyprus. So, when you come, you'll feel like you're, you'll be the only one. Yeah. Even though I've never I've not met everybody, I don't know anybody from Somalia. But there should be people from Somalia here. But I don't know them. Um, and now, can you move to... Can you move to any uni in Turkey after one year? Definitely, you can move to... Turkey after one year, and they, I think they, I think some of the universities here have like transfer program to Turkey. So in case you want to move, you just do the transfer program and you continue in um, Turkey. So um, that concludes the question. If you have any other questions, you can just leave it in the comment section or email me. I'll put my email here, vivianpamilaria@gmail.com, or you can just check the comment section. I've left. My email for some people and they've contacted me through them um through my email so yeah this video is sponsored by this video is sponsored by student prosperity it's uh it's an international student recruitment agency uh if you're coming to cyprus as an international student you just they can help you with your they can help you with your document get your um, get scholarship for you so any university of your choice in Northern Cyprus, I think it is for Turkey also, but mostly for North Cyprus. So in case you are coming to Cyprus for the first time, or in case you are thinking about coming to Cyprus, you can. I'll leave their um, picture somewhere in the video. Um, you can come to. You can use Student Prosperity Agency to come to Northern Cyprus, and I promise you, it's going to be very easy. I, I know a lot of people. I did not use them because. Um, when I was coming, they have not opened. But I know a lot of people. I used to have referred people to them and everything, and, and people gave great testimony about them. So you can try that. Nobody's going to dupe you. Nobody's going to teach you. Like my story to come to Cyprus, I paid like excess money. But trust them, they're going to help you fix everything. They're going to even guide you on 
maybe uh, things you need to do, documents you need to sign, all those kind of things, things that you don't actually need, all those things, so they can help you with a guide. So in case you're coming to Cyprus, um, they will help you with getting scholarship, they'll help you with accommodation, they'll help you with your admission overall, and until you get to Cyprus then and you're comfortable, they are fine. That's 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 the aim of the um recruitment agency that they help you from wherever you're coming from till you get to Cyprus and in case you need help with admin with registration and everything, so I they will help you with that also. So in case um if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave it in my comment section or just send me an email i will respond to all your questions and i'll see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and peace